I'm standing in phase one of me turning my garage into the engineering workshop of the future, featuring my very own DIY smart lights using Arduino and voice command. Hey Gary, turn off the lights. Turn on the lights. Light cycle. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built it and how you can too. Let's get into it. So this all started because for the first time since becoming a quote unquote adult, I actually have a real space to start establishing a legit workshop. With four moves and three new jobs in the past five years, it's felt impossible to really get established anywhere. In words my wife will no doubt come to regret, she said I can do whatever I want with the garage when we got our new house. And I am super pumped about the space. It's basically a 20 by 20 blank slate. And truly the only thing wrong with it when we moved in was that it was just dirty, bare concrete floors and plain white walls. So the very first thing I started by doing was getting a super durable epoxy floor that's gonna let me be out here in barefoot or socks or have my son out here with me and not worry about the dirt. Does it come in black? And because I truly feel like you need to feel like you're in a cool workspace to build cool stuff, I shifted to painting it. With a quick coat of Batman's favorite color down, it was time to take a look at the lighting. One big problem with the garage was that when we moved in, this was as bright as I could get the room. One dim bulb, and at max I could add on the garage door light, which would turn off after a couple minutes, so not really that helpful anyways. And since this space is gonna do a thousand different things for me long term, I'm gonna have a home gym set up over here. I'm gonna have my drum and guitars set up over here. And I want this entire wall to be tools, electronics, and engineering projects. And I also want it to be a fun spot for my wife or son to hang out when they feel like it. So obviously, I'm gonna need some pretty flexible lighting. And as with most big, seemingly complicated engineering projects, it's good to just define your scope and spec your electrical components. And scope definition for this project is actually pretty straightforward. Bright lights, lots of flexibility, Arduino, control from voice. Okay, so that's actually pretty great. It's pretty easy to define a clear scope. And once we have that in mind, we can start specifying the electronic components that we know we want. Obviously for a project focused on getting ultra bright shop lights into my garage, picking the lighting was gonna be super important. And did I pick these ultra bright LED bar lights because some random blog online said that they were pretty sure they're what Tony Shop has in the mechanics section of his workshop? I need it. Buy it, store it. It's none of your business, shut up, leave me alone. I actually genuinely love these lights. If you'd like to use the same lights that I'm using here, I will leave a link to these ultra bright LED bar lights, as well as all of the hardware we use in this project below. Any lights that you spec that use standard wall outlet voltage, which this will work for 120 in the US or 230 in the UK and abroad. Same general concepts as what we're doing in this video, but all the hardware will be linked. Okay, so that's the lighting, easy enough. And the next piece, and this should be pretty obvious, is you'll need an Arduino or a microcontroller. Pretty much any microcontroller or Arduino board will work for you. And in the past on the channel, we've already talked about the importance of a relay. And obviously if we're controlling high voltage stuff from a low voltage source like an Arduino, we either need transistors or relays, something capable of switching that voltage. But when you have a bunch of relays, it's actually a better idea to look into getting a relay board. This is 16 12 volt relays. And honestly, by the time you start looking into buying a bunch of these individually, a board is just a more economic option anyways, and it's super neatly organized. So because I have minimum six lights that I'm putting in, and long term I might want the space for more, I'm gonna use a relay board. This thing gets powered by 12 volts, so this is actually a 12 volt power supply. It can take 230 or 120 volts again. You just have to set whether it's 230 or 120 on a dip switch on the side. Another really cool feature of powering the relay board from this is the relay board can then power the Arduino. Because obviously you're mounting this in the field and just bringing the outlet in is all you wanna have to do for power. But that's really it for specking our electronic components. Now let's quickly take a look at the wiring for this project. I spent forever on the animation you're about to watch, so I hope you like it. So starting from a wall outlet where you have ground, positive, and neutral, run each of these wires to a terminal jumper where you get several more landings and let's bring 
bring in all of our components for this project. That means the lights, the relay board, the 12 volt power supply, the Arduino, and our Bluetooth or voice control module. Now the grounds are really easy to visualize. They just need to run directly to each light and then we need one to go down to our 12 volt power supply. And the exact same is true for our black wire or positive 120. Now before we talk about the neutral or white 120 wire, let's talk about the 12 volt power supply, which needs plus 12 volt and zero volt DC to go over to the relay board. And the relay board has eight wires go to the Arduino, six signal wires, plus five volts and ground. Arduino then needs to provide ground plus five volts and two more digital pins to our Bluetooth or voice modules. And now we're ready for the neutral 120 signal. Instead of going straight to the lights, they're going to go to the common channel of each relay on our relay board. And then of course, one run to the power supply. Then depending how you want to control this project, either the normally open or normally closed channel of the relay board will be what you run to the actual lights. And that's it. It's really not that complicated. It's a lot of simple concepts stacked up on top of each other. This schematic will be linked below with all the other resources for the project. And feel free to drop a comment if you still have any questions about what you're seeing here. One actually super important component that we haven't actually talked about in this video at all yet is this voice recognition module. And the reason I'm not giving it much time in this video is I actually just did an entire video dedicated just to how to use that, set it up, and configure your commands. And even the commands that I'm using in this video are almost identical to the ones I did in that tutorial. So that's the wiring. And as I install the final light on the ceiling, I have to say some special thank yous because this week on the Master Tech, we hit 10,000 subscribers and we also hit 1 million views. And for those of you who haven't been around the channel for super long, you might not know, but I actually started the Master Tech just because I was feeling kind of stuck at my job and I wanted to get better at coding and programming and I felt like I knew how to make basic videos and so it might be a good opportunity to do something new, get better at programming, and just break out of my rut. And the channel has done so much more than I could have hoped, including connecting me with so many great people who are constantly sending me super positive messages on YouTube, as well as connecting me with my unbelievable Patreon supporters, Dale and Philip, who thank you guys so much for sticking with me through all of the stuff we've done on the channel. I know 10,000 subscribers is just the beginning, and it might not seem like much to many people, but to me it's unbelievable. So sincerely, thank you all so much. Hey Gary, light four on. All right, you guys, that is gonna do it for me and this video. One of the most fun things about this project is making it your own, programming in the functionality to make the lights or whatever devices do exactly what you want them to do. I hope this garage becomes the ultimate workshop in the next couple months and years. And so be sure to drop your ideas for the workshop in the comments below, and maybe you'll see it built on the channel. Wiring, the build materials, as well as all of my code will be accessible from a link in the description below. So if you're trying to build one of these yourself, make sure to check out those resources. And if you feel lost at any point in the process, just drop a comment on this video. A massive, massive thank you to everybody for 10,000 subscribers, 1 million views on the channel this week. If you're not subscribed, make sure you go do that now. As always, good luck with your projects. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.